Hello love, thank you so much for being here with me. In this video, I will be sharing with you three powerful and simple tools that you can use to connect deeper with your yoni. So first of all, what is the yoni? Yoni is a Sanskrit word that means sacred space, and it refers to a woman's entire sexual center, which is so beautiful because often we hear terms like vulva or vagina, which only refer to certain parts of the sexual anatomy, but yoni refers to the entire sexual center, every single part of it, and it means sacred space, so it's so beautiful to bring this loving, healthy, sacred connection back into our sexuality. So three simple tools to help you deepen into this relationship. Now, I know for me especially, when I first started connecting with my sexuality after being very shut off for many years, my whole life pretty much, I didn't really know where to begin. It can feel sort of daunting as we are on this path, moving through a world that promotes the opposite of sacred sexuality. So these are three tools that are very simple and also very profound, and I really hope that they support you. So tool number one is yoni breathing. So what does this mean? Ultimately, of course, we know we can't literally breathe into our yoni because we breathe into our lungs but we can energetically direct our awareness and our breath to any space in the body to essentially bring more life, more energy, more flow into that space. So by tuning our awareness into our yoni as we deeply breathe, we are in a sense breathing life into her. So whenever we do this type of breathing work, we want to tune into our belly breath. So often in our daily life, we can get into an unhealthy habit pattern of breathing only into the upper chest. So we always wanna direct our breath consciously into the entire belly. So you can try this now, bring your hands to rest over your belly. And as you inhale, you wanna feel your belly push out and expand into the hands. And as you exhale, you wanna feel everything come back in towards the spine. So inhale, belly comes out, exhale, belly draws in. So when you are breathing into the yoni, you wanna feel that expansion. You wanna feel your belly moving out as you inhale and fall in towards the spine as you exhale. Now there are a couple of different ways to practice yoni breathing. One way is essentially to bring your awareness to each part of the yoni and breathe into it, bring life into it with your awareness. So beginning with the pubic mound and breathing into the pubic mound, bringing your awareness there, imagining energy filling the space and then flowing throughout in that way through each part. So into the outer labia, the inner labia, the clitoris, the vagina, the cervix, into the uterus, into the fallopian tubes, and into the ovaries. So as you move through each part, you will take deep breaths and bring your awareness to that part. And then simply notice what energies start to awaken within you. So you might have different emotions, different sensations, and you just wanna really be present with whatever comes up. So I also have a yoni breathing practice on my channel that you can check out if you want to be guided through this experience. Another way to breathe into the yoni is to imagine that the yoni herself could breathe. So just like you would inhale through your nose or through your mouth, imagine that your yoni, who is very connected to the mouth, that's another topic, but essentially imagining that the yoni could inhale, so as you breathe in through your nose, you imagine that your yoni is breathing in the air, so as if she could like pull energy and pull life force up through her, up the vagina, up, expanding the womb. And then as you exhale, imagine that energy moving back down the yoni and into the earth. 
So this is also a powerful way to cleanse the energy in the yoni because you are breathing in energy and then letting it go and imagining sending it into the earth where it can be transmuted. So those are a couple of ways that you can experiment with yoni breathing. And again, if you want to be guided through this process, you can check out my guided practice available here. Tool number two that you can use to deepen your connection with your yoni is yoni cupping. This is one of my favorite practices because it's so simple yet so profound. So oftentimes we either completely ignore the yoni altogether or we touch her with a certain goal. Like even the simplest sense when we're just using the bathroom or putting on underwear or washing ourselves in the shower, it's like we're doing something to the yoni for a certain result. And then also sexually, whether we're self-pleasuring or engaging with a partner, we often have this like cultural conditioning around associating our sexuality with orgasm, with a goal of having a certain climactic experience. And so we can put a lot of pressure on ourselves and not necessarily honor our yoni and honor what's truly feeling good for ourselves, but we can put this sort of expectation and this pressure on our yoni. So yoni cupping offers us a way to connect in with her energy and just really be present with her without putting any goals on her and also not ignoring her. So always with these practices, we wanna begin by being in a safe and sacred space, a space where you feel comfortable, where you can relax, where you feel you know, like you're not gonna be disturbed or distracted and you can just really be with your body. So what you'll do is basically bring your hands to cup over the yoni. So I like to put usually one hand over the womb space and then the other hand to cup over the vulva. So you're kind of creating like this little, um, like a hug for your yoni. And so all you're going to do is just leave your hands there and just breathe. And you can rest here for maybe 10 minutes. I would recommend at least 10 minutes, but you can do more, 20, 30 minutes. And all you're gonna do is just hold your yoni and breathe. And I know it sounds really simple, but it's so profound because finally your yoni is gonna feel like you're being present with her and you're loving her and you're not forcing her and you're listening to her and you're sending her love. So you just wanna like send love through your hands and just breathe and again, noticing whatever comes up for you. So there can be so much stuck emotion and stuck energy and painful memories and experiences that are stored literally within the cellular memory of our yoni. So when we start to tune into this space, there can be a lot of energy that comes up you know, of course we want to feel pleasure, right? And pleasure ultimately is our natural state of being. However, because of different um, painful, dishonoring experiences that we have, traumas, we might create armoring, we might create pain or numbness that essentially covers up our pleasure because our body is trying to protect itself. So when you start to tune into this space, you might notice that, you might feel numbness, you might feel tension, you might feel pain, you might have emotions come up, you might have certain memories come up. And all you wanna do is just hold space for yourself and breathe and allow any emotions to have an outlet to move through you. So if you need to cry, cry. If you wanna yell, yell, you know, you can have a pillow and like scream into the pillow. A pillow is a great tool for buffering sound and letting intense emotions that you might um, tend to bottle up to actually move through and out of the body. And that will really support your healing process. So that is Yoni Cupping, and if you want to be guided through this practice, I do have a guided audio meditation that you can check out. It's available in my shop, and I'll put a link for that down below. So the third practice that I recommend for connecting deeper with your Yoni is Yoni Love Letter. So this is really just as it sounds, writing a love letter to your yoni. And it might sound silly or strange, 
but it can be a really powerful way to create more of a loving, harmonious relationship with your yoni. So what I suggest you do for this practice is just, again, get into a comfortable space, have your journal and pen or paper and pen, and just create that energetic awareness and that connection to your yoni. So maybe doing the yoni cupping or the yoni breathing for a few minutes and just create an energetic connection. Notice the sensations, tune into her, drop your mental awareness into this part of your body. And then you're just gonna breathe and relax and just start writing a letter as if you're communicating directly to her. You know, the yoni isn't just like a part of your body, I mean, really every part of your body is sacred and special, but especially this literal source of your life force energy. She's so precious and so powerful. She really is her own divine being, this temple of creation within you. So what do you want to say to her? Dear Yoni, what comes through you? What does your heart want to share with her? Maybe what are you sorry for? You know, what pain has she been through that you want to acknowledge? Is there any pain that you've maybe ca caused her from yourself? You know, we don't have this education and this awareness of how to really love our body. So sometimes we touch ourselves in ways that are harmful. You know, is there anything that you want to apologize to her for, for maybe not honoring her fully? Not punishing or blaming yourself, but just, you know, having that direct channel of communication and really um, sharing with her how you feel. What are you grateful for? What blessings and pleasures has she given to you in your life? What do you love about her? What is beautiful about her? Just pouring your love into this part of your body. And then when you feel complete, reading it aloud to her, speaking it to her. And you can even take this a step further by looking at her in the mirror in like a hand mirror while you read this letter to her. And that's also a whole practice yoni gazing that we'll save for another time. But that can deepen your experience of the yoni love letter is to actually read it to her by looking at her in the mirror. That can be really powerful. And then I invite you to just maybe put, put your letter onto your altar somewhere special, maybe read it to her multiple times. And that can just be a really special and beautiful way to deepen the loving connection between you and your yoni. So I hope that you enjoy these tips, these tools, and if you try any of them, I would love to hear how they go for you. You can comment below, you can send me a private message, I'm here with you. And again, you can check out my guided practice for yoni breathing as well as my practice for yoni cupping and you can find the links to those below and if you enjoyed this video i would so appreciate it if you give it a like and subscribe to my channel it really helps support me to continue sharing my message with the world so thank you so much for being here with me i'm sending you so much love and blessings on your yoni connection journey.